going to tell about the error handling as we have seen in a previous lesson some of the issue while we are entering the username and password after profile update so here what was the error here like uh, username giving ram mobile number email address and then password and retype password so here username ram and retype password is 1 to 7 so we are going to submit this and here the set data is face the text here and we are going to validate this username text is equal to the previous enter text so i'm giving here ram which we have entered there and now password one two three four five six seven so this is matched with the previous which we have given in registered page now we are going to click on login and after validation it comes to the edit profile sorry this profile now in this profile we have the edit profile button while we click on it and we are going to change this username and will update the profile so here we have given drum k and the password we are going to change and say one two three four five six seven eight so here one two eight and the username is ram key so we have updated now we are here so we are seeing it is uh, like a previous whatever we have entered still it is there so why it is happening because we are working on a dynamic panel and here it is not going to refresh it so suppose we have refreshed this page again it will go to the registration page so we are not uh, getting saved this all data just we are matching the text on a widget whether the username is equal to the registration or a registered user or not so now here so suppose now again we have written the rule for username validation which is happening here so suppose we have here in login we are validating with the added profile text on a widget added profile username and here it is a registration base username so what is happening it is not getting refreshed so suppose here i will give ram k still it is showing invalid please enter valid username and while we are taking the password which we have given one two three four five six seven eight it's not match so reason is it is not getting save anywhere so for that what we need to do will create one more login page just we will duplicate this and here we'll say login after profile update and we are gonna and we are going to remove this username validation here so now from here username which we have given the validation for enter username 
and which is coming from the registration page we are going to remove this and we will check the text on visit with the edit profile which we have given as an update so this one and the next for the valid we are going to just remove the registration one now ok and in password also so here we have for this registration done and here for valid registration done and from the previous one which we have given here in login we are going to remove the added profile one because we have now the separate login state panel and from the valid one also so again we'll preview and we'll see and before that we'll need to check this okay it is going to the profile so fine so here username we are giving okay um mobile number then email address then we have password which is one to six fine now we'll submit login login edit profile we'll edit this we'll say ram key and here we'll say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now update and this is coming to the login form which we need to update to the edit profile which will go to the update login after profile update done so fast again we'll do so here we are giving Sam mobile number then email address password matched submit siam password login edit profile edit say ram and password will put one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now update we have given ram and here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten login so it is working fine and here it is giving run so next we are going to do the inline form so how we'll do the inline validation we'll see in a lesson 4 so how we can have the inline form validation for that I have given one example here so what will be the benefit of inline form validation like we are entering here name Naveen 
so it will show the instruction for the first name and last name which is should be alphabetic and all so here we can do like here i have given sahil so it is giving the instruction when it is a wrong input when it is a less than two it should be minimum character three so here i am giving sahil and here last name so you, you can see here it is giving instruction minimum character is 3 maximum character is 15 and this s indicates the required field so even here like uh, all are required field and once the name is right entered here so suppose nothing is entered here but this last name is enabled but in email address and password and confirm confirm password is not enabled even for this terms use and policy also so once the user enter on right name or a valid entry it used to be enabled here like here i am giving and now password is enabled confirm password uh, password is not enabled so here password so password i am giving uh, suppose one here also we have the minimum six character two three four five six so now it is right and here we are giving one two three four five six it's masked and this is enabled and now we can click on the register now so like this form will create in our next lesson which is inline form validation so see you in next lesson inline form validation thank you thank you very much